Yeah. If you ain't talking about that large money, then that conversation ain't at all for me. Too many niggas satisfied with just call money. A new chain, couple bottles at the ball money. We need that. Two acres for the yard money. Diversified portfolios and bond money. Pull a few strings that guitar money. Try to run up on me? Nah, money. Getting at it from the AM to the PM. Move fat boy, that's the door by your BM. Love they love it when they see him. We still in the hood, but we on top like the alternators in the GM. She feeling this? You are tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. Let's get right down to it. PBC on Fox, main event this Saturday, August 22nd. Showtime, Sean Porter. It's going to be going up against Sebastian Formella in the main event. And this is the first time Sean Porter has been in the ring with a a guy that doesn't have a a big name, not even to the hardcore fans, in in quite a while. Quite a while. Sean Porter has fought the who's who of people at 147. He fought Spence. He's fought Danny. It's for Keith Thurman, for your Dennis Ugas. If you want to go back further than that, he's for Zab Judah. He's for Birdo. He's for Paulie. I mean, he's for a lot of names and a lot of the top guys in the division. Now, I always love to see Sean Porter get a main event, get main event billing. I'm a fan of Sean Porter. I'm a fan of his father, Kenny Porter. And um, their opponent is undefeated, Sebastian Formella. And I'm not going to lie. I put the lab coat on, watched them for the first time last week. They announced it on uh, the last PBC card, on the Jamal James and Tomas DeLorme card. And I was like, oh, I was like, all right. I never heard of Sebastian Formella. Let me let me do some homework on him. Run some tape on him. You know, so I you know, I put the lab coat on and, you know, went to the lab and, and you know, watched a couple fights of his. Now this is really, really simple. Sebastian Formella is solid. He's solid, but there's two things. Number one he don't throw in volume. He's more of a counterpunching type guy. That's going to work with Sean Porter only if you got enough mustard on your punches to keep Sean Porter off you. And from the homework that I did, the tapes that I seen, the fights that he's been in, I don't think Sebastian Formella has the strength or the punching power to keep Sean Porter off of him. Now, Sean Porter fought different when he fought your Dennis Ugas. He moved around the ring, pivoted, moved, tried to showcase his boxing skills and his footwork. This is not one of those fights where I want to see Sean Porter do that. Sebastian Formella does not belong in the ring with Showtime, Sean Porter. I'm talking about from a strength, physicality perspective. Formella doesn't have enough to keep Sean Porter off of him. So I actually want to see the the pit bull, Sean Porter. That Sean Porter that came out against Earl Spence in the first four rounds, that's the Sean Porter that Sebastian Formella should be seeing in this fight this upcoming Saturday. Point blank period. The only way Sebastian Formella is going to last in this fight is unless Sean Porter allows him to. Sean Porter needs to go in and maul him. He needs to go in and maul him. Sean Porter is a favorite for a reason. He's the bigger puncher, stronger fighter. Better footwork, more athletic. When you have those advantages, you don't waste no time against your opponent. You do what you got to do 
and you get him up out of there. Now, that's no disrespect to Sebastian Formella because I think he has a nice set of boxing skills. Like, he's not garbage. Let's not get it twisted. He's not garbage. Like, I like what I've seen on tape, but I was studying his fights to see how his style can translate to Sean Porter. And you have to have some type of crack to keep the pit bull Sean Porter off of you. And I just didn't see that on the tapes that I watched. Now, is Sebastian Formella going to come in and prove me wrong? I don't know. To be honest with you, I hope he does prove me wrong because that means it's going to be a better fight for us to watch. But based off of what I've seen, it's a, Sebastian Formella shouldn't last more than five rounds. Sean Porter should get Sebastian Formella out of there in five rounds or less. If Sean Porter is the 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 you know the the Sean Porter of old, like that that pit bull Sean Porter, like he would get this guy up out of here within four or five rounds. But the thing about this, and the beauty of it, is we gotta wait and see. And I'll definitely be glued in to this card. Sean Porter, Sebastian Formella, this Saturday, August 22nd, is going down. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.